Do you have a Schedule C business? Schedule E rental or Schedule F farm from last year? Or that you just started? Then you will need to review and complete those schedules in client collaboration. On your main questionnaire page, scroll until you see the business, rental or farm tile and click it. If you look at this page, there is a separate section for each of the different schedules. If you had businesses, rentals or farms reported last year, they will already be listed here so you can add the new information. If you need to add a new schedule, select add under the appropriate section. Let's edit our rental schedule. You will see that each schedule is broken out into smaller categories to make it manageable. Let's start with the general section. Some of the general information is populated with your data from last year, but make any updates as needed. Update the status for your bookkeeping records and add a date if you discontinued or sold your rental. There are a few questions here at the bottom. The questions will be specific to the type of schedule you are working on. And prior year information will be displayed when available and relevant. Complete the questions and leave us any notes as needed. On the next few screens, you are going to see that you can type and add all of your different income and expense items into the schedules manually. However, if you have an accounting system that produces an income report, or if you keep your information in a Word or Excel file, you do not have to manually enter it here. You can select this option, and it will add an item to your document request list, so you don't forget to send it with your other tax documents. If you don't have an income and expense report to attach, or if you want to review the data from last year and type your new data in, click on a category to get started. Each of the categories are very similarly set up. I've opened expenses. In the prior year column, you will find the respective amounts for each expense. In the current year column, go ahead and add the current year amounts. When you have expenses that are not standard line items, you will find them here at the bottom. To enter a current year amount for other expenses, you must click the pencil icon. Then you can edit the description if needed. But more importantly, add the amount. And if you have a new expense that was not previously on the list, you can add another expense line. When you are done with this screen, click save to return to the category tiles. Next, let's take a quick peek into assets. Like other sections, the assets that you had last year will already be added. If you sold or disposed of one, enter the sales date and price. Or, add new additional assets. When you add a new asset, you will need to key in the purchase price and cost. When all the information is entered, click add to save it. When you are finished updating assets, click done to return to the category tiles. Continue through the remainder of the categories, until you have entered all your business data. You can also add a new business, rental or farm as needed. New businesses will require you to enter all the general information about the business, such as name and address. And remember, you can choose to attach documents via the document request list. Or enter all of your data through the category tiles. That concludes this short lesson on business, rental and farm schedules. Return to the video library if you need help on other sections.